Hi friends and subscribers, a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosalie here, bringing you another video today from Jerusalem. Today I want to talk about a pretty obscure product, as I like to do on this YouTube channel from time to time, and that is uh, custom earplugs. Now maybe they're not that obscure and I just heard about these really late in the day, um, but I've just got two pairs of custom earplugs made up from different places in Israel, and I wanted to put up a video uh, telling people or showing people um, where you can get these in this country. So if you're looking for custom earplugs and you're in Israel, you've landed on uh, the right video. Um, so firstly, let me just talk about what custom earplugs are, and if you just want to hear about the suppliers, I'll add timestamps to this video, so feel free to just jump ahead uh, to the section where I talk about both shops I've purchased these from. Uh, custom earplugs, as the name suggests, are basically fully customized earplugs. Um, so apparently our ear canals are totally unique, much as our fingerprints are totally unique. Um, so when you buy off-the-shelf earplugs, um, I've always found earplugs really um, uncomfortable to wear, and I've never really been able to tolerate them. And that's because, you know, off the shelf earplugs, firstly, they're, uh, they're not, they're, they can't really fit your ear because they don't really fit anybody's ear exactly. They're just one, one size fits all. Um, and as well as that, you know, a big issue with them is they're either single use or you can use them like up to four times. So you have to keep buying more and more of these low quality earplugs. Um, I'm, I'm personally have been a big earplug user or, um, dealing, using earplugs is one of my things because I have something called noise sensitivity or sound sensitivity, which basically means in simple terms that I have a hard time filtering out noise when I'm trying to focus. So if I'm trying to work on, let's say, a script for a YouTube video or doing my day job and I'm working on something and there was, let's say, a noisy conversation going on next to me, or, uh, you know, uh, cars revving up and honking their horn, uh, horns, uh, I would find that very distracting. Uh, the diagnosis that I've got is called sensory processing disorder or SPD. And this is something that's very commonly seen as well in autism, uh, ADHD, um, and different forms of neurodivergence. So a lot of those folks, if you have that, you might be able to understand uh, exactly what I'm talking about. If your brain filters out these noises that uh, mine can't, be thankful that your brain filters out those noises. So basically custom-made earplugs, uh, that's what they are, that's what they're used for. Um, I got two pairs, so the first one is from Haozen in Jerusalem, and um, I'll bring up their uh, website over here momentarily. This is uh, Haozen in Jerusalem, and um, this is the making process. So basically, the um, this is generally done in an audiology clinic, so this isn't a, like an exclusive or I should say a comprehensive list of everywhere in Jerusalem doing these things. Just the ones, because I live in Jerusalem, this is my local audiology clinic. Um, and Ear Protect are like kind of the national specialists. They really like specialize in this super unique product, uh, which is uh, pretty great because it means they have an awful lot of experience um, making these. So firstly, um, Haozen in Jerusalem. Um, this is, uh, my, these are the first ones that I got and I got ones for both sleep and day-to-day -day use. Now the process for making these is a little bit weird. Uh, basically it's the same as, uh, they use for custom in-ear monitors, custom IEM. So if you're a, a musician, uh, professional musician probably you might have heard about these otherwise that's also jargon uh, but basically they pour some kind of putty like substance into your ears or they inject it and um, it looks weird I'll put up a video that I found on YouTube because I didn't think to record my own molding process uh, but it's not painful at all um, they just it just feels like you're underwater and your ears are clogged basically and then that mold like hardens for about five minutes and they just the audiologist will just poke around at it they'll also ask you a couple of questions to ascertain why you want the um why you want the earplugs because they might choose like a slightly different material i was also able to choose the uh the color so these are the ones um that i got done up in haozen and i went for kind of a skin color which I thought would make them um, less sort of obvious but they don't quite match my skin so they still look kind of like I'm wearing a hearing aid but uh, whatever they are amazing um, I love them and uh, the maintenance is basically that you can use these indefinitely so the woman at the clinic told me that she's had her pair for 12 years now the cost 
of custom earplugs is quite expensive. Relatively speaking, I paid 600 shekels uh, for each pair. So basically that's like $150. Uh, but compared to some of the prices I saw from, from at audiology places in the US, that was actually like a relatively good deal. Now, 150 bucks might sound like a lot, but think about that if you're spending $2 a day on 3M earplugs and you use them literally every day, um, it's going to be actually in the long run cheaper just to have one pair that's intended for indefinite use. So you can just use these basically indefinitely and uh, maintenance is cleaning them with uh, water. I do it once a day. Um, I think that's prudent if you're not using them every day, perhaps less regularly, but if they look dirty, obviously just kind of uh, get a bit of soap and water and they have a color code and red is um, for your right ear and blue is for your left ear. So that's Ozen in Jerusalem, the molding. Uh, firstly, they take the molds and then they ship that off to a laboratory and using some really cool like 3D modeling technology, they will then produce them and send them back. The whole process for me took like probably... I'm going to say three weeks, but this was also after the outbreak of war here in Israel. So that might be like slightly slower and they were they are working at irregular hours, slightly less uh, normal hours. Now, the second one, I'll just jump back to my screen here. Um, Ear Protect, as I said, these guys are really like the sort of national uh, specialists in this. And as far as I know, they actually supply the uh, IDF, which I thought was pretty cool. They supply the army because ear protection is really important, obviously, for people um, who need to discharge firearms. Um, so this is the one that I got, Neged Raash Mazik, which means in English, uh, against annoying noise. And they claim to have that these ones have a noise reduction ratio of 30 to 35 decibels, uh, which is really about as good as you'll see on any type of earplugs. And I think that's pretty much as good as noise attenuation as you get in earplugs. They also make different ones specifically for sleep that are a bit less a noise reducing 25 decibels um, underwater ones as well as ones specifically for uh, ADHD and misophonia, ones for musicians, ones for pilots, Tayasim, ones for uh, in flight and ones for um, a, a motorcyclists. So really they have an incredible range of materials and different types of earplugs. Uh, these guys are located in Netanya, uh, but they operate a molding clinic in Ramat Gan, uh, just, just a few minutes from Savidor train station. So I had to go in to get them for my fitting and then they um then they came so these ones um are a little bit different than th these are the ones from jerusalem from haozen and these are the ones from uh from tel aviv uh from ear protect they're roughly the same size um and they're both really comfortable uh but i basically have become so dependent on these i'm using them literally every single day since i got them that i'm like i really want to have a spare pair because i can totally see Although they give you a carry case, you know, it, human nature is, it would be pretty easy to misplace them. Um, so I have a spare, especially as the making process takes a few weeks. I thought that was important. So yeah, these are um, the custom earplug options that are out there in Israel. I can s highly recommend both Haozen and EarProtect. I can't really say one was necessarily better than the other, but EarProtect um, are really into customer service and they're very responsive on WhatsApp and uh, they'll give you really good attentive sale advice. Haozen were great as well. So really they were both pretty great to deal with and six 600 shackles if like me you work from home um, in a noisy urban environment and you're there's a lot of construction noise going on there's loud neighbors and you just want something that will really block out the noise uh, i think the 600 shackles when your sanity is on the line is a great investment and just remember that you're going to have these for potentially your whole life um and as i said if you're using earplugs frequently uh, the costs are going to just basically, you know, these are going to probably come out ahead at some point. Uh, that's the video. Don't, don't want to make it overly long. Uh, custom earplugs in Israel. If you've never heard about them, you've heard about them now. Um, as a long-term noise-sensitive person, I wish I'd uh, known about these and bought them like 10 or, 10 or 15 years earlier, but better late than never. And they're really awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to get more videos about stuff to do with living in Israel, then please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.